There's another uh, chapter in the book that's called The Sound of Silence. Uh, Zach was kidding about my book, How to Talk So People Will Listen. <laughs> By the way, I know they said bad things about me, but I can't hear. <laughs> and there's some things you don't want to hear. But he was talking about how to talk so people will listen. That book was published years ago. And I don't write bestsellers, but that one is really done well, hasn't it, George? It's been on about the 10,000th printing. I wrote it in two weeks. It's still sold in airports and in supermarkets and Walmart. But somebody said to me shortly after I wrote it, you mistitled it. You ought to write a book with the title how to listen so people will talk instead of how to talk so people will listen. I don't know if you've noticed, but we live in a very loud culture. They've given microphones to idiots and they use them all the time. <laughs> they have something to say on every subject that you would possibly imagine and they speak as if they're speaking from Sinai. When you get old like me, you don't give a rip, but as a matter of fact, it's not a silent world. What if instead of answering them, we listened to what they said, even if it was shallow? I have a friend, his name's John Wood in Knoxville, Tennessee, he's a pastor there. His wife, who's Jewish, came to know Christ at the church that I served in the Boston area. And I love them a lot. He's very pro-life. But he refuses to support pro-life marches. And I said, why is that, John? He said, because when we go out and march, everybody who sticks up the one-way finger, they agreed with you before you marched. And those who stick up another finger, they disagreed with you and they're not going to change. But everybody else who's had an abortion or who loves somebody who's had an abortion will never again darken the doors of the church. Now, I don't agree with that. That's why I support the march that we support here at Willow Creek. But I do get the point that he makes. What if, and we gotta do the marches, we gotta do the stand. If you haven't seen Unplanned, I hope you get the fever and die. You ought to see that movie. That is an incredible movie. So I don't go that whole route with what he said, but I get the point. What if, what if we ask, you must be going through hell. Tell me what brought you to this point. Or maybe if we said the same thing to transgenders or gays or lesbians, or our friends who are struggling with booze or drugs, it's so easy to say, you, you're pathetic. They know that. What if we listened? What if we asked questions? What if we loved? That would be something else. 